All right, so I know I've made a few videos about the OnePlus 12R already, and I just found something else. I don't know if I want to call it an issue, but it is a problem in my workflow. It's not as big of a deal as it used to be because I have changed some things around, but uh, I did notice something. So right here we have the 12R and we have a simple C to C cable, USB-C on both sides. This is a USB 4 cable. And when I, I connected this phone to my computer using this cable, Windows didn't really know what to do. <laughs> it, it, it freaked out. And in fact, I had to restart my computer. Uh, but the, the, at the end of the day, using this cable with this phone, I wasn't able to really transfer anything to the phone. Also, I should have it be known that when I plugged it into the computer, normally with other Android devices, the screen will prompt you and ask you like, hey, you've connected. Do you want to allow data transfers or like just charging or whatever on the on the phone screen? And then also usually when you swipe down uh, using the, the, the notification shade, you'll see that information there as well saying, hey, this is what the phone is currently doing, whether it's charging, transferring or whatever. On the OnePlus 12R, nothing, literally nothing. So the next thing that I did was I went into settings and I just searched for the word US, well, the initials letters USB. Here again, one thing popped up, but it wasn't what I was looking for. With these two devices, and from what I can call all other Android devices that I can you know, remember, you type in USB and it brings up that screen talking about, hey, this is what we can do or what the phone can do. Do you want to charge? Do you want to transfer data or Android Auto, uh, MIDI, uh, do nothing? You know, so like the options are there to say, hey, this is what you want the phone to be able to do when it's connected to an external device. Now, I will say I did find that option on this phone, but I had to go into developer options in order to actually change anything. And I thought that was really weird. Also, it now made me think back to when I first got the phone, developer options are already enabled, which for those of you who know, in order to enable developer options, you usually need to go to the build number and you need to tap the screen a bunch of times and then eventually it will say into your pen. Now you are a developer and the developer options option, which is in settings, is now visible to the user. So the fact that it was already enabled when I got the phone, I thought that was weird. But now seeing that a setting that should be available to the user when they first get the phone, developer options or not, uh, is buried within developer options. Maybe that's why it was enabled. Really not sure. Okay. But these two phones are definitely A-OK -okay with this cable. This phone is a USB 2 or, or has a USB 2 USB-C port. So USB 2 is not the issue. So this is three. These two are USB 2. So I'll slide these out of the way. But at the end of the day, I wanted uh, to be able to transfer some information to the device. So I said, what can I do? This cable isn't working. It's worked with my other devices. So I said, all right, right now, let me use the cable that came with the device. And since the machine I'm using only has USB-C ports, I'm going to need to use one of these little dongles. So I plug it into this side here and it worked fine. <laughs> I don't recall, I don't remember getting the little uh, notifications on the phone asking if I, you know, give the phone or the computer permission to do anything or what I want it to do really. But I want to say, if I'm remembering correctly, the moment I plugged this cable in using this little dongle, things worked fine. And also, uh, same thing happened when I use this other C to A cable as well. No issues whatsoever. So what I'm thinking is, and I wish I had another OnePlus device right now to confirm my suspicions, but OnePlus doesn't want you to use this as a as a computer. They don't want you to plug it in. <laughs> that that that's the impression I'm getting. Yes, you already crippled the USB C port by only allowing it to transfer data at USB two speeds. But now, from a software level, it looks like they're just like whoever's buying this phone isn't going to actually use it to transfer data. 
So why make that a part of the UI the way that it is with many other Android devices, if not all of them have been able, been able to test all Android devices. So I thought that was very, very interesting. Now, from listening to The Verge, uh, apparently, yeah, there are a lot of products like this where even though this is physically a USB-C port, I mean, we can see that, it almost logically acts as a USB-A port somehow. Like, I'm, I'm not, I, I know I'm not saying it correctly, but there's a reason this cable works or this cable works and a C to C cable over there does not work. OK, there's a reason that I have to use this dongle with these cables if I am plugging this device into a USB C port. So I think it is OnePlus or any other company that, that requires this type of thing. It's them kind of cheaping out. I mean, it's, you know, some something in there with the circuitry that could be adjusted relatively cheaply from what I heard or could have been implemented relatively cheaply uh, that they decided to just not do. And now, yeah, we're in a situation here where you would assume that, oh, I have a cable that looks the same on both ends. It fits into this port. It fits into the port on my computer. So it should be able to transfer data. And no, it, it just did not work. Now, at the time of recording, I have only tried one C to C cable. I, I probably should try a second one. So maybe I'll do that after I stop recording. But since I did try two A to C cables and the dongle worked on both of them, and the cable works with the other two devices over there and works with this, with this iPhone that I'm recording on. I'm leading to believe that it's not the cable. It's, <laughs> it's the phone. Now, in terms of what I own, the only other time I've seen something similar like to, to this is when I was using this, not that I can't plug this little guy into my C ports or this little guy into my A ports, but it reminds me of a time where I was downloading software or I'll say a, a Windows image from Lenovo's website and you go through the whole process, the whole setup, everything's almost fine. And then when it's trying to read or oh, I'll say, sorry, when it's trying to write to the drive, I would always get an error when I was using the USB-C side on, on plugged into the computer. But using the same machine and just switching to this end and using a USB-A port, the software ran through no problem and I was good to go. So um, very, very interesting. And I, I know I said this was one time. There was one other time. And for some reason, I just can't recall when that was. But I, I think it's just unfortunate that, um, you know, it's, it's a nice phone. And I, like I said at the beginning of the video, slow data transfer speeds, the USB 2 thing, fine. You know, I, I don't like that. But I knew that going into the purchase of the device. Uh, but now knowing that, you know, the cable that I kind of use for everything or when I have machines that don't even have USB-A ports like uh, my MacBook and that, that Dell, it, it sucks that either I, if I want to transfer something to the phone, I have to make sure either I use a dongle um, and a different type of cable or just flat out use a different computer. So, uh, so yeah, so in all the other videos that I made too, I'm like, ah, I'm on the fence with this thing, man. Like there are a lot of good things about it and I get cost cutting. But some of the things that they chose to cut, I'm just like, ah, like that's unfortunate. Like I would almost say, you know, like with the resolution of the screen, I mean, whatever it is, I know it's more than than full HD. Could have cut some cut, could have cut some costs there. And yeah, given us a faster data transfer port right there. And then, yeah, allowed me to use C to C cables. Now, as I've complained about this in the past and to several friends of mine, I know. What's more important if we're looking at those two two features, more people are going to care about the resolution of the screen over how fast this little guy transfers data or if it can transfer data at all, <laughs> because most people aren't connecting phones to the computer. I get it. But, you know, it's it's not like this thing was only a hundred bucks. I mean, it, it's it's still a, a device that costs hundreds of dollars. So I would, you know, appreciate, you know, some of the small things, but you know, I, I get it. I, I really know I'm in the minority when it comes to caring about it. 